Welcome to Maths Weekly. Today I'll open up the FX82 ES Plus Casio calculator completely, swap around some keys, reconstruct it and close it up. So here I'm just doing a basic test to see that it's working. Here I'm just opening up the back casing. So we can see the circuit board, the chip on board and the AAA battery which I'm now removing. And here we see our LCD screen. At this point I was expecting to find screws but there weren't any, instead it was bits of plastic melted so I was finding a way of opening up the rest of the calculator. Here I lift up the circuit board and I was able to see the rest of the calculator so I went on with opening it up. I decided to break up the plastic bits because it didn't seem like it would affect any electrical bit of the calculator. As you can see I decided to return back the battery just that I could check on the calculator's functionality during the procedure. I was eventually able to lift off the circuit board. Here we're able to see the keyboard sensor and keyboard membrane. And here we have a nice view of the back of the plastic keys. Here I'm just removing the plastic keys from the front casing. Here I was testing to see if something would come up on the display but nothing did. Here I was doing a small memory task to see how many keys I could correctly place. And here it started to get a bit challenging.
Here I started to place the keys on the keyboard membrane. At this point, I swapped the addition and the multiply keys. After all that, I realized that it would be easier to put in the keys on the front casing directly. Now I started closing everything up.
I did a small test to see if the calculator was working. After seeing that it was functioning, I was comfortable closing up the calculator fully. I got to do some tests on our modifications and it worked. I don't know what practical benefits this modification would give but it was definitely something very fun to do. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Come back next week for another one.